Yep, turn one's completed. Both armies are thundering forward. True Greek fashion. If anybody does anything different, it won't be Greek. Athenians seem to be falling back a little bit here. Other than that, it's turn one in the books. All right, turn two is completed. Lines have gotten a little closer. We'll carry face off over here on the far right flank of the Spartan army. I should say Spartan Athenian army here. You know, just keep both sides happy. Notice the Athenians are on the other end of the line. Got to segregate those two. End of turn two. Turn three is completed. First blood. Athenian javelmen here with their crack throwing arms slaughter the infidel in front of them. Yep, we're not infidels, I guess, yet. Fellow Greeks. Otherwise, the armies have been closing and closing and closing. So much for the nice linear line armies here. You can see we've all sort of set back each army respectively here. Should lead to an interesting situation. Again, we have the Athenians on this flank versus the Tegian League. In the middle, we got Greek states, Elans. And over here on the right, we got the Spartans. We're doing the Spartan wiggle. Greek cavalry, you can call it cavalry. It's facing off against each other here on the far right. Thebians in front. On the far side there, check out those measuring sticks. Novel feature for our games. End of turn three. Aggressive Thebian skirmishers here are charging forward. Can't wait to close the range and close hand-to-hand. -hand. And out here on the far Thebian left, the Greek cavalry. Smell all the Greek cavalry. Turn four. First half of turn four. As you can see, the Greek cavalry fight was fought to a stalemate. Two dead on each side. Out here, the skirmishers clashed into each other. Doug won one round, I won the other round. But in those subsequent uh, morale checks, both his forces retired due to friends retiring, and of course our force retired. We attempted a pursuit here, but those guys scampered away faster. He rolled a natural 12 and I rolled a natural 11. We thought we had him. Anyway, this is the action on the first half of turn four. Bottom half of turn four. Spartan Athenian cavalry is winning the fight, but the Greeks are holding on the far side still. He passed with a roll of three. So we're pushing. Otherwise, the Spartan phalanxes are moving around, doing their Spartan dance. The Thebians are watching. And as you can see, there's a little bit of a breakage here in the middle, a couple of gaps. Other than that, it's sort of a line up here. Who wants to tango? A little cavalry action here, trying to work its way around. The Athenian flank here. Dave's been rolling a few reform rolls here with the discipline tests, making about half of them. Hopefully that will be a sufficing amount to success. But otherwise, it's the end of turn four here. Going on to turn five. I rolled a four. All right. Well, it's the top of turn. No, the bottom half of turn five. Finally got some success here. The Greek cavalry, led by their Spartans eyed by the Spartan King here, of course. Finally broke and shattered his unit and ran him down. With his Greek and donkey all over the place. Otherwise, the Thebian end line here is holding. Skirmishers are chucking javelins. This is the end of turn five, if I got my count right. Over here, things are looking a bit serious. They're trying to outflank the end of our line here. Everybody's getting closer. It's who's going to make the first leap of faith across the no man's land. And we know the Spartans will do it. That's because they're Spartans. <laughs>